Hello, and welcome back to Games Over Explained. Today, uh, I wanted to do something a little different. We're going to be playing Let's Build a Zoo. It is a newer game, uh, well, at least at the time of recording. It was developed by Spring Loaded and published by No More Robots. It uh, came out November 5th, and I'm pretty excited. It's kind of like a classic zoo building game. Um, I don't have a ton of uh, expectations in terms of what I've seen of the game. So we're kind of going in blind here, uh, and let's go ahead and get started. So let's see, who shall I employ to run and manage my zoo? Okay, so we have to pick our appearance. Uh, they're all pretty close. We're just gonna go with one. Please enter a name for your zoo. Let's just do Go Zoo. Super original, I know. All right. Pretty big space to start out with. We have a new task immediately. Visit the management office. Hey there, my name is Kathleen and I'm currently your zoo's sole investor. Could we come down to the management office for a quick chat, please? Select the management office. I assume it's this building up here. Click on tasks. All kinds of requests set up here, and I know you will want to keep on top of them. Try viewing a new task now. I think we already have, haven't we? Yes. Okay. So we click here, and that will tell me the task. We're going to build an enclosure. So this is going to be pretty much the tutorial, <laughs> which is good because I have no idea how to play this yet. So I think that's going to end up being helpful. So let's drop into the enclosure menu here. And it looks like we have a couple different options. We can build a concrete enclosure or a grass enclosure. Let's do a grass enclosure. I always like when you go to a zoo and it has a um, kind of a like a hedged uh, area for an animal that maybe can't fly or jump um, over the enclosure. <laughs> All right, so looks like it's just gonna be click and drag to build. Let's give that a go. Oh, maybe not. Click here. Okay, so you do the corner angles. Very cool. Hopefully we can do one by one paths. We'll find out. All right. Okay, so that's the enclosure. Oh, maybe not. What am I missing here? Let's see. <laughs> um... All right, let's, let's try this again. Let's try this from the top. Grass enclosure. Oh, it is already uh, still there. Hmm. Oh, I see, I see. So it's a link and then you do that. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Off to a great start here. Let's put the gate on the back side of the enclosure. That way guests can't see it as clearly. It doesn't ruin the immersion of going to a zoo and being amongst the animals. Now that we have an enclosure, we can start the real business of finding animals. Okay. Overpopulation. I have a gift for you. Please visit me and my zoo, and I can tell you all about it. So I guess we're going to go to Australia. Um, and to do that, we go up here to the world map in the top right and click on the Australian Zoo. Let's see, we had unexpected booth to our rabbit population last month and we just don't know what to do with them. Awesome, yeah, let's uh, let's get some rabbits. I'm sure you'll love them and your visitors will too. Okay, select an enclosure. Not the most exciting uh, first animal, but that's okay. This person will have a new task after you complete four trades with the Cuba Zoo. Probably time to start trying to earn a living. Let's open the zoo to paying customers. Whoa, airdropping rabbits in. I feel like you could probably just carry those in or maybe, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if a whole helicopter is necessary, but that's fine. Um, all right, we have to open the zoo, but there aren't any paths yet. Okay, if that's uh, what the game wants me to do, then that's what we will do. So how do I open the zoo? I can change the appearance, that's cool. I like this one. Whoa. All right, yeah, big fan of that one. Is it at the management office maybe? No? Oh, do I just press play up here? No, that's fast forward. 
I told you I uh, have literally never played this. Oh, it's right here in the bottom right corner. Whoops. <laughs> All good. Okay. Open for business. This person will have a new task after one day in business. Let's see a news article talking about GoZoo. Pretty excited about that. All right. Uh, let's see. Hmm. The animals don't have any water or enrichment. So... I know I'm not off the rails yet, but my impulse tells me to address that. It's those facilities. Okay, so let's... Can I add... What would it be under? Farm bench. You would assume it would be under enclosures, but maybe not. I can drop some floor tiles, though, so let's actually wrap this up and get this kind of highlight it around and we will just kind of build ooh, build that path out like so and then run this here and then we have to build a shop for our guests um, probably soda and food to start with of course this guy isn't gonna fit can I rotate it let's see click to rotate okay well it is a little big for the area and I've just realized actually that this path is not 100% correct so let's address that real quick I might just make this one solid path it's kind of the entrance of the zoo it's not the most uh, mindful of space but that's okay and what we'll do is we'll actually drop this here in this corner right next to the rabbits we can choose salary for the shopkeeper does that change who I get oh no it actually just changes their metrics interesting <laughs> so you can make them really rude if you underpay them which makes sense <laughs> if I was getting underpaid I probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't be too happy about it either so we'll try to take care of our employees in the meantime that is a snack vendor actually what I should do is look and see so it just sells hot dogs okay so we do still need a soda machine and we'll drop that right there next to the hot dog stand that way people can get food and drink right there at the entrance so let's see what else we need to do close this minute. there we go okay we need to hire one we need a gift shop too okay so let's get a gift shop in go to our build menu come over here and we can go ahead and drop this in the same vendor area and then hopefully we'll be able to do a path over here and have some sort of staff facility. That way, I assume if this is anything like Planet Zoo or Zoo Tycoon, there needs to be some kind of staff facility in the back here, or maybe we'll do the bathroom there. That way it's tucked off the edge of the, uh, the map. Maybe that makes sense, or not the map, but kind of tucked away behind everything else. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and drop the restroom in here. And then I should be able to grab my wooden planks, bring them along here. Hmm. And, oh, I actually don't want wooden planks. I wanted brick. So how do I destroy? I'm in the destroy menu. Okay, cool. So I don't even have to go into the delete menu maybe. All right, grab our bricks, come through here, drop, drop, drop. And now guests should have access whoops have access to the bathroom i still need to figure out where water basins are in the menu oh okay so you click on the enclosure itself add object water oh very cool okay it'd be much cuter if the rabbits had a little rain barrel to drink out of so for now, we only have two rabbits. I'm wondering if only two can drink at a time. That should be okay. We'll just drop one in here. And let's see if I click this. It's gonna take me all the way back? No, okay. Enrichment, what do rabbits like? Rabbits like small ball, okay. We'll drop one of them in. And that should take care of those. Water link, hmm. What does this mean? An animal basin is beyond the range of a water pump. Do we even have a water pump yet? <laughs> Let's see, facilities, amenities, water pump. Okay, excellent. Um, So can I actually, does this need maintenance? Cause if not, I could just tuck it back here. 
We'll try that and see if it throws any issues. It would be nice. I think they actually have a space here to sneak in, the, the staff does, to maintain this. So for the time being, we'll drop some floor tiles in here, grab these bricks and run it. Nope, I don't have space for it. Okay, well, we're gonna hope for the best then that it doesn't need any kind of maintenance. And that should take care of all of our issues for this first day. So let's take a look at what some of these menus do while we're waiting. Oh, it wasn't even playing, whoops. <laughs> okay, off to a good start, I think. Minus the fact that uh, I'm meandering through these menus. That's all right. Um, probably need a path to this, right? Or can I just move the administrative office wherever I want? Oh, see, look, there's a water pump over here. So I'm gonna destroy this one because I don't need it right now. And I don't know if there's maintenance costs on those, but uh, we'll assume that there are. Hey, we made three bucks, not bad. Oh, just single pads have, it might be, let's see, let's see. Oh, I was hoping they would run into each other because it looked like maybe there's some sort of penalty for having these single wide paths. Oh, we have a research grant, okay. Let's see, hi, I represent the Zoological Foundation for Research and I am here to offer you a grant. If you build a research hub before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. Hmm, okay. I mean, that seems like a pretty easy option. We probably need this for the tutorial anyway, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Plans for research hub and local zoo, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's just the news report. We're gonna build a research building. So let's come down here to our build menu and it highlights it for us. We can drop a research hub. I actually wanna put this next to the administrative building. I think that probably makes the most sense. Uh, but I cannot afford it, so that's fun. Um, okay, well, let's run this on fast forward. What are you people doing? Oh, you, your employees. I thought maybe they were just kind of wandering about. I don't want to burn up money with floor tiles, but they are just kind of wandering. Maybe that's okay. Maybe that'll be all right. We'll let that ride for a minute and see. Let this money catch up. All right new sales record we're selling hot dogs like they're well hot dogs <laughs> research grant done okay so we have to research an item at the research hub but i do need to take care of this hiring thing first we'll just do the market rate to start with um i don't want to mess with that too too much on this first run and we'll see how it goes i am leaving there isn't anything else to do well we have rabbits um and I know that the sign is a little misleading because it implies that we have a lot more than rabbits, but rabbits can be exciting too. I uh, have plenty of friends that have pet rabbits and they seem pretty cool. I've never had one myself. So let's run this path. <laughs> and I'm out of money. I really want to put this path down. Let's see if I can go ahead and start research. This is the research screen. The employees of your research hub work tirelessly to earn points that you can use to unlock new buildings. Okay. So we can unlock anything. Let's do, um, park benches seem like it would be good for the purposes of keeping visitors. But a desert enclosure means that we could probably get new types of animals. Let's go with the bench for now. Whoa, I'm gonna have to <laughs> do something about that. Uh, let's see previews for important buildings and bonuses allow you to work towards unlocking the items you want. Okay, so do they just passively generate research? This is really a cool research menu. I would assume that this is going to just passively go. I guess we'll find out. Research an item in the research hub. That is done. And there's something at the management office that needs doing. Oh, I didn't finish the task. Can I have money? Thank you. Very much appreciate it. Ooh. Game saved. But it also gives us an opportunity to stop and look at our overall metrics. So five people could not fit on your buses. Hmm. Not sure what to do about that yet, but I guess we'll find out as the game progresses. One felt the ticket price was too expensive. 
Uh, we can certainly take a look at that, but one doesn't seem like all that many, uh, considering we got 24 people in. And we spent a lot of money, which is no surprise, because we had to grow quite a bit. So let's see, now we are finally up and running. I would love to start tracking our progress. If you reach 25 total customers, I will be able to give you a small performance bonus. Yeah, pin that. Oh, another one. Can't believe another zoo. I have small observation. Perhaps you might want to feed your animals. Yes, that's a, a fantastic point um, that I did not realize yet that we don't have a place to feed animals from. So let's just drop this up here since it seems to have a range and let's go ahead and get our paths down. I like the idea of having this core, um, I guess corridor here that allows everybody to traverse um, though I guess they're not using that space. I'm not sure. They're all employees that are just running around, so I think that's probably okay. So we got a welfare report. Your animals need more time to be fed and raised lovingly. Your animals are not being treated very well. Please try and do better. Okay, well, no bonus. Uh, a C is pretty average, so that's good. Um... Let's, I think they should auto feed, right? Or do I need to add a food? Nope, okay. Yeah, so it looks like I don't have to add any food. Maybe the, the keepers will just feed the rabbits of their own volition. Guess we'll find out with our next, next challenge. Let's go ahead and complete these tasks and collect the benefits that we get from them. 1,500, Ooh. That's a lot of money. All right, and another 100 bucks. It's gonna be a rat infested, unless you hire somebody to clean it up. So let's go up here to the ticket office, and we're gonna go to park staff, janitor, and let's look for a janitor, because we don't have any way of hiring, or uh, of cleaning, excuse me, the park up. Open this job, yes, 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 apply. Okay, so it should start searching for people. Yes, okay, so it is searching currently. And so in the meantime, we should be able to, hmm, what should we be able to do? Can I just go and adopt animals whenever I want? Is that a thing? So you may have heard that a goose can be quite difficult. Let me tell you, that most certainly is not the case, and it is in no way the reason we are trying to trade a pair of rabbits for them. <laughs> a trade a pair of them for one rabbit. Oh, okay. So for me to... Okay. Oh, sorry. So to finish that thought, uh, for me to get a goose, I have to trade rabbits. It's an interesting mechanic that I have to trade. It kind of blends together Planet Zoo's trading mechanic with just traditional purchases, which Planet Zoo also has. So I, I kind of like that that system. Looks like I can just buy rabbits. Um, I don't know if I have a male and female rabbit. I think it's probably worth looking at to see if there's a chance that we'll just breed rabbits. Yes, we do. Okay, so maybe it's worth just waiting to see if they... Uh, generate some more rabbits for us that we can trade for geese um, because I only need one. Let's see. It's pretty much the same results as the day before. Various performance targets. Reach 100 total customers and I will release some additional funding. Okay. Oh, and now we have to get five animals. Okay. We can um, certainly attempt to do that. <laughs> We're still searching for our janitor it's interesting that you have to go through this process beautiful labrador we could call the number on its collar and tell its owner or we could use this as an opportunity to earn more money and expand the fledgling zoo i don't know if i want to <laughs> slap a lion costume on a <laughs> labrador retriever and say that oh this is a this is a lion so we're going to do the right thing here we're going to try and find this dog's owner Morality. Hmm. So there's a morality system. The morality choices you make will impact the buildings and actions you can use and may be reflected in certain people's behavior. Choose wisely. Interesting. Okay. So there's a system in which your choices matter. 
and it affects things somehow down the line. We don't have any bins. Hmm, that is a fair point. Let's see, what would those what would those be under? Where can I find bins? Perhaps under facilities? No, amenities. Aha, bins. I'll just slap some green garbage bins down here. Um, kind of didn't leave myself a ton of space over there, so what we're going to do is I want to put one here next to the park entrance, and we'll put another one at this corner. And that, I, I say that should be enough, but um, any zoo simulator game I've ever played, they generate trash like crazy. So we will um, just kind of oversaturate that just a little bit. Looks like things are going well. We've got two grand... Five morality, what tasks? I guess all the tasks are pinned right now, right? Yeah, Ooh. okay. So we're still waiting on hiring a janitor. Oh, we have two applicants, how exciting. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, we have Alva, who is a almost one star janitor and Anthony, who's a half star janitor. And it looks like they're asking for about the same price range. So we're gonna take the person that's a little more experienced like to close this position yes i think we only need one janitor for now um it's a pretty small zoo so i don't know that it's necessary to have too too many janitors let's pop up here and mark that task complete finish the task this person will have a new task okay two hundred dollars excellent so we still have to get five animals oh there's a baby bunny how cute let's see total days in business three profit today 481 and the current cash is 2313. Good deal. I think we're doing well. You have an animal in your zoo that you can trade. Okay, so let's slow it down. Not that much, but slow it down just a bit because I do really want a goose. Um, so we're going to trade Wiggles, the tiny little rabbit. Thank you, Wiggles, for your service. We're going to get a couple of geese out of this. All right. You sure to be happy with these geese and they, po they possibly won't be any trouble. Okay, um, so I don't actually have an enclosure for these guys yet. This was not well thought out. Um, and I feel like putting them in here might be a little too much. Let's see. Oh, it can use up to 20. Sure, we'll put the geese in there. It says that it's good for up to 20 animals. That seems like a lot. Um, just from a real world perspective. There is some litter on the floor. Well, the janitor's trying to get caught up. Let's let that run for a minute and see if, uh, if Alva's able to get this cleaned up for us. All right, making some money. Where are my geese? Oh, one day. Okay, so we'll get geese tomorrow when the zoo opens. Cool. Pretty, uh, pretty cool that it's slow rolling the types of animals. Normally when I play zoo simulators, I try to get something pretty exciting to start with, even though that's not maybe the most realistic. Um, though I actually don't have a ton of specialty in how zoos function, so uh, that could be realistic. Maybe they just go out and adopt a handful of animals and start building the whole zoo around them. I don't know. If you're uh, familiar with zoo operations, just uh, drop a, a comment and let me know, because I'd actually be very interested. I love zoos. I just don't know a lot about how they function from like an operational standpoint. <laughs> they can jump so high. Well, yes, they are rabbits. You have unspent research points. Okay. Let's see. So we can unlock, what do we think we should unlock? Shelter pack, which we don't seem to have a huge issue with. Floor, some new trees. We could landscape, which, um, is always a good time. Energy pack, wind turbine, very cool. Let's do the desert enclosure. I wanna be ready for that uh, should we come across an opportunity. Oh wow, I still have a ton of research points to spend. Okay, yeah, let's just get cotton candy. Cotton candy's great. Crop seeds, soybeans. See, this is a mechanic that we haven't gotten into yet. There's farming and I'm not sure how that plays in yet. Maybe you generate your own food, I don't know. Let's go ahead and get our bushes and trees. We have one left. Um, let's see, research points five. Let's get the small ball, get the color variations, just burn up these research points. That way we're not having to worry about 
uh, them just kind of lingering around. And I think we get publicity for it as well, which is pretty cool. One animal or one type of animal, or maybe they're just the rating. I don't know if that's dependent on the quantity of species. So we have 64 on the facilities, which is good, I guess. Um, I mean, it's a middling rank, but I think we could probably do better if we tried. Um, let's see, we still need to try and get five animals, but I think as far as the world map goes, oh, there's more areas now, let's see. The duck isn't really a symbol of Canada, but we have one on our dollar coin. Well, actually we have a loon, but it's close enough. And it looks like I can trade a rabbit for two ducks which is cool. What do we have down here? People don't like snakes. To me, they constantly look like they're smiling. You have yet to encounter this species. Well, it kind of looks like the silhouette of the duck. So maybe we need to... Oh, this is not a rabbit. This is like a turtle, maybe? Let's see. I can trade snakes for hyenas. This is cool that you can kind of just keep trading up and and upgrade all, oh, man, you can get pigs. Pigs are great. That'd be really fun. Okay, um, so let's see what's available here. Oh, I can buy a pig. Okay, I'm gonna buy a pig. Let me let me build this enclosure real quick. Um, newest grass enclosure. I personally really like pigs. I think they're cool animals. <laughs> so let's, um, I feel bad kind of overbuilding some of these enclosures, but just because we only have a finite amount of space. Um, oh, I did not mean to do that. Whoops. <laughs> oh, here comes our geese. Let's get that linked. I don't know what happened here. Um, but we'll go ahead and put the gate. There it goes. When it renders in, it fixes those problems. Cool. New animal variant av available in the shelter today. And there's a VIP in the zoo. Very cool. Um, such a goose. Yes, that is a goose. Okay, so we've got this guy. Let's go ahead and get the path built. Um, let's go to floor tiles. We're just going to stick with our gray bricks. And we've got a bit of trouble here. I'll probably go ahead and delete this bin. Um, simply because I think that... Oh, come on. I don't want the heat map right now of bins. So let's reset that real quick. And what we will do is we'll replace that bin that we just got rid of over here. That way people can still throw their trash away. And then maybe um, we will come through here and build some floor tiles just to get people closer to the action. So we're gonna have some piggies in here and I'm very excited about that. So that should clear up that. Let's go buy a pig. Excellent. And then exit out of here. And I want the piggy in there. Space used 20 of 18. Oh, okay. So the individual animal has a space requirement that hits this numerical value. Hmm. That is problematic because I've already purchased this pig. Um, well, let's see, can I choose to just build an enclosure? Is that something I can do? Hmm. Okay, well, we might have to put him in here for now. And then what we will do is I can come over here, hit my delete mode, and let's just run out this, oh, see, the leap mode works different than the floor tiles. I actually need to do this, right? Yes, okay. Maybe I don't understand fully how to use this delete tool for the path. Okay, so I just click on it again. That's all I have to do. So I'm just left clicking to get rid of it. Oh, animal keeper zoning. Your animal keepers are inefficient, making your animals suffer. Create work zones. Use the heat map to review your zoning. Okay, excellent. Well, we will do that in a moment. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Can I select the full size again? I can. The community. It's all due to our wonderful zoo. Yes. 
We're doing our best here, even though I feel that we're a little underqualified to be running a zoo. But that is okay. Um, is there a way for me to expand this enclosure? That's the next question. Change shape. Yes, there is. Okay, so I can come through here and expand out the zoo. We're going to place the gate again. Okay, excellent. So that should give us sufficient space for our pig. Um, the sign no longer says that I'm getting the pig. I don't know what happened there. Yep, I wanna track this, but we're gonna deal with it here in a second. What happened to my pig? Um, hmm. Do I have to go buy another pig? Is that, uh-oh. <laughs> the pig's not available anymore. What have I done? <laughs> Let's uh, see what happens there. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> take care of these bench problems. And hopefully, okay, so bench takes up a whole space. So what we can do is we can put a couple benches here in this little alcove. And then we'll put another couple benches here and here. And that should take care of our bench requirement for now. I don't know what happened to my pig. Uh, and I don't know if there's a holding area for the animals outside of being able to just drop them straight in. So let's go ahead and finish this task and get a little extra money to recover our lost pig costs. And what is this pointing at over here? Oh, here comes the pig, okay. So I just couldn't see the sign anymore. All right, look at him, he's beautiful. I have to extend our warmest welcome to you. The people of the city love having your zoo here and they've cleared land. Awesome. Person will have a new task. Okay, so we have five pigs, or five uh, animals, not pigs. I got pigs on my mind now that I've seen, uh, seen this guy here. Look at him, his name's Tramp. He's a beautiful lad indeed. All right, <laughs> we're, we're gonna, uh, nope, not there. We're gonna come over here and add some objects because Tramp currently doesn't have any way to eat or drink, or rather, I guess just drink. Oh, I'm thinking of opening a transport dealership to sell industrial vehicles and buses. If you'd like to invest a sum of money, I'll open an account for you. Donate $500. Sure, we've got tons of money. Unlocked buying buses at the ticket office. Very cool, so I can actually control the buses. Let's just do a regular old water basin for Tramp here. I think it's out of range of the water pump, actually, but we can we can probably cheese that a little bit. Let's see if I can move the object. Can I go under view object? Yes, okay. And then I can move this, bring it down here, and that'll be in range of our water pump, so I don't have to buy another one specific for Tramp's enclosure. So let's add another object. Let's get Tramp some enrichment. We have different color balls here. Let's go with the red ball. Kind of looks like a clown nose. It's cute. Just want to make sure he's real happy. Um, let's see. Are all of our animal needs met right now? Yes. Okay. Excellent. So I'm actually going to slow this down to one for now. And let's see. So we can actually come in here and get the cotton candy stand now. So I'm going to go ahead and drop one of these in next to the bin here at the front because I think it'll add some value to our area. Oh, okay, so there's the for sale land. Awesome. So we'll be able to expand uh, in the future. I do want to try and maximize the space that we already have. Um, that pen has no water supply. Yes, it does. It's right here, lady. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, make sure Tramp is happy. Closure status is acceptable. Ideal, very cool. So it gives you some breakdowns on these guys. <laughs> I like that they just say stuff as they're hopping around. It's very cute. Okay, uh, let's go hop, hop into the research venue or menu for a minute. So we can research some new stuff. A trampoline? What kind of animal uses a trampoline? Incinerator. Animal enrichment scent markers. I bet Tramp would like that. Let's go ahead and burn some points on that. Wow, that was bright. 
And then, let's see what else can we do. We can do a nursery. Use selective breeding to discover new animal types and help map each species genome. Could do some potted plants. We'll work on the nursery down the line. I wanna try and get my hands around what we're looking at here. Grab some big trees as well. And that should consume our research points for now. Um, okay, so I think the next thing we should do is the game recommended setting up work zones. So I think it's probably worth looking at that. If I can figure out how to look at that. <laughs> Animal keeper, maybe? No? Okay. Um, hmm. Probably, ah, zone. Set influence zone, very cool, okay. Select the enclosures you want your employee to look after. So just these two for now. And then if we do a third one, I'll probably switch up how we look at this. Hmm, not very polite. Oh well, something else to worry about down the line. So let's uh, pop back into our world map. I wanna see what options we have again. Uh, we can't do the ducks because we don't have that animal. We can't do the snakes because we don't have ducks. We can't do the pigs because we don't have snakes. And we can't do the hyenas because, or yeah, they are hyenas, uh, because we don't have snakes. So uh, can I purchase anything? Just more rabbits. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe we'll focus on our tasks then. Let's see, what do we have going? Buy land, okay, well. I guess we'll go ahead and purchase the land. I'm probably not gonna use it, but if it gets us progressed, then uh, we'll get it done. So that takes care of that task. Let's pop back in over here, finish the task. Do, 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 do. Okay, wow, they basically funded my land. I think it was 500 for the land and they gave me 1,000, so that kind of worked out pretty well. Oh, it is nighttime. End of week summary. Okay, well, looks like stonks are up, uh, so that's exciting. Let's see, the game says blah, 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 okay. Your next performance target is to have 50 customers in one day. So I have to keep an eye on the emissions for the region. I have some advice, why not research some alternative power sources? Kathleen convinced me to buy shares in your zoo and I have some advice. You need transport, a lot of transport. Essentially, pe getting people to your zoo leads you to have more customers. So go to the front gate and buy a second bus as soon as possible. Well, that's something we could do immediately, I think. And I think it's gonna be extremely beneficial in the longevity of our zoo. So we have one, I can order more. 2,000, wow, buses are not cheap. All right, let's go ahead and do that because they kind of uh, subsidized it with the $1,000 bonus for completing the task. So that's cool. Um, I actually think this is probably a good place to stop. Uh, this game is really fun so far. Um, it's uh, a little different than what I normally play on the channel, but if you want to see more of it, uh, drop a comment in the in the video and say, hey, uh, we really want to see more of this. This is cool. Uh, again, this has been Let's Build a Zoo. And uh, this has been also Games Over Explained. That's me. I appreciate you dropping in. Again, please leave a like and a subscribe and a comment and all the standard YouTube stuff that people ask you for. And we'll see you next time.